I'm a long-term cancer survivor and supremely grateful for my life. Today, I'm working on being a vestibular disorder survivor. It may not be life-threatening, but the damn disorder can sure kill your spirit if you let it. I'm here because I have a vestibular disorder. I literally thought I was having a stroke um, because I was so dizzy. They told me that I would 100% clear up and I would be fine in maybe a few weeks or something. And um, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know what was wrong with me. I thought, did I have a nervous breakdown? Did I burn out? Am I going crazy? And then the neurologist told me there was nothing they could do for me and I should just get a cane. It was Then I was starting to get sort of depressed, to tell you the truth, because this felt really overwhelming and my life was turned upside down. I was so totally exhausted that I couldn't really work. I mean, and I couldn't think straight. Do you suffer from vertigo attacks, dizziness, or loss of balance? You're not alone. The Vestibular Disorders Association's Community of Support is a lifeline for many patients who are struggling with dizziness and imbalance. The inner ear only does two things. It provides hearing and it provides balance. So the vestibular system or balance system uh, is a distributed system. It's all through the body. It gets inputs from five balance organs in each ear. Three of those balance organs detect rotation in different planes of motion. Two of the organs detect linear movement, like accelerating in your car or riding up and down in an elevator. When you were an infant and a toddler learning to sit and crawl and walk, your brain was learning how to take all of those different inputs and compare them and integrate them together to create one sense of spatial orientation that we call balance. And if there's a breakdown in the system anywhere, the sensory inputs, the central processing of the muscle outputs, a patient feels dizzy or off balance. Approximately 69 million Americans suffer from vestibular dysfunction. VITA provides information so vestibular patients understand what they are going through and connects patients to qualified specialists so they can get the help they need. VITA is the leading nonprofit organization that provides information and support for vestibular patients. Join us during Balance Awareness Week. Together, we can ensure that no one with a vestibular disorder will ever feel alone. The purpose of Balance Awareness Week is to raise public awareness about vestibular disorders. By increasing awareness, the aim is to reduce the time it takes patients to receive diagnosis and put them on the road to recovery. Through your support and help, we're able to grow our resources in order to reach more vestibular patients and to provide the help and support that they need throughout the world. To find out more about inner ear balance disorders, visit the Vestibular Disorders Association's website at vestibular.org. You have helped us tremendously. Thank you.